Here we go, Scorpio. Receptivity. You guys, in the position of what you guys might be thinking about uh, for this uh, month of um, the theme, what you're going to be thinking about for this month of September is you guys are really going to be, a lot of you guys are going deep and you're really feeling grounded and solid within your, um, your spirituality. You're feeling strong within yourself. You're feeling grounded and you're feeling like you're able to receive love, receive messages. So you're really open um, and you're in a really good place. So a lot of you guys are thinking about opening up and receiving, um, going through meditations possibly, meditating, taking some time to really open your mind and be ready to receive good things coming to you. Oh, wow. The next card we have is possibilities. I, I think really this is one of my favorite cards because you guys, um, you guys are going to be doing things this month in a very different way than you have been as far as whatever the situation is this month for you. It looks like you're seeing things before, before you take action this month, you're really taking the time to, well, you have, you don't have to even take time because you guys are so clear on what it is that you're receiving. You are very, um, you're very connected to your higher self. Okay. You being a water sign, this is, this is going to be a very good month for you. You're going to be so connected to God, your angels, your higher self. You're going to be so open to receiving messages, um, synchronicities, uh, just cl clarity. Okay. And your mind's going to be very open. Okay. Um, so you also want to protect yourself as far as, cause when you're open like that, you can receive all sorts of th uh, energies. So you want to make sure you're protecting your energies, but you're going to, it's going to give you this amazing ability to be able to have such a high sense of clarity that you're going to be able to see things with a very, very sharp eye, a very sharp, crystal clear focus, a crystal clear answers, crystal clear, uh, ways of doing things. So if you guys want to do something this month, you're going to be able to do it fast, quick, uh, easy, um, Things are just going to really, really work out for you. So take advantage this month because you guys are really going to be able to do, uh, take, take action this month in a very, very positive way. The next card we have is the moment to moment card. And you guys might be feeling like you're not able to really live in the moment. This is a card about, um, living in the moment. Okay. So you might be feeling like, um, you want to just, you want to feel like you want to be in the moment, right? You don't want to be thinking about your past or worried about things that have happened to you or worried about your future. Um, you just want to like be happy now and do and take the actions necessary right this moment in your life um, and enjoy your life right here and right now. And the outcome we have is patience. So it's saying you may need a little bit of patience this month because whatever actions you're taking might not show results immediately. Um, there might be a need to um, just have a little bit of patience to wait for it to come because this is the month that looks like you're going to be able to have the clarity to make something happen or the plans to make something happen. All right, let's go into your reading. The card we have underneath the deck was the three of pentacles. This could be a work related situation, a relationship. Um, but this, this is uh, a group of people planning something, um, working together to create something could be financial. Again, that could be like work. So things are maybe going very well. Um, this could be somebody that you could be taking, taking on an apprenticeship at work, um, like an internship at a company, or you could be, uh, starting your own company and working with others. But this is about working together with people and creating something uh, of value. The next thing, the center of your reading, we have the justice card in reverse. So this could be a Libra you're dealing with. This could be a Libra, an actual person. If it's a person, it looks like this person is not um, balanced right now. You guys also may be feeling like things are not working out or that things, something's not going fair. Something's not fair. Something's not in your favor. Okay. If this is another person, it's not you. Uh, it could be the other person, a Libra, uh, or somebody, an air sign that is feeling the need for assistance from you, possibly. The next, we'll find out more later. The next card we have is, wow, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Pisces got this in the exact same position, and Virgo got this in the exact same position. 
So if you guys have Virgo or Pisces in your chart, you want you might want to watch those videos. Or if you're dealing with a, a Virgo or a Pisces, you might want to watch their video too, because this card was in the exact same position. It just could be also that this is the month that a lot of, you know, signs are all experiencing. Uh, well, we all do usually experience the same energies. Um, we just receive them in different ways. So you guys, this card is about, it's in your, it's crossing you. So it could have to do with a challenge this month for you, a challenge or an obstacle. I don't really see it as an obstacle right now. I see this as you guys receiving an unexpected gift of money, an unexpected gift of money, an unexpected possible job that has to do with money. So it could be that you're getting a, 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 an unexpected uh, opportunity to start your own business, an unexpected opportunity to, to be an apprentice, uh, to work with others and to make money, to be taught as you go work work with them. It's unexpected, but it's going to bring money. Um, but because it's, you know, we have the, the, we do have the justice card in reverse, which talks about something, something was unjust for you at one point. Okay. Possibly. And, um, surprisingly you're going to get something of high value money. Okay. Let's see what else is here for you. We can get some clarifying cards as well. Um, we have a strength card. This is in the position, um, Scorpio. This is in the position of what it is you need to focus on this month and your advice for the month. And it's, it, it's talking about having strength emotionally within yourself. Um, I see that you will already, because I do see this card. You have this re beautiful receptivity card, which means you're very balanced. You're able to be very balanced or you're thinking about being balanced and being open to receiving these gifts from the universe, um, or unexpected job offers. It's like, you're ready to receive you're allowing yourself to be in a place right now where you're ready and stable to receive what the universe has to offer you. And my gosh, you're going to be getting something. You're going to be getting this offer that's coming your way. Okay. Um, it's just saying that you, uh, you, you need to, you need to continue. You will have the strength meaning this card is all about having strength within yourself, Scorpio, having the strength within yourself to be able to, deal with your own, um, you're going to be very strong. You're not, nobody's able, able to, gonna, nobody's able to, going to be able to sway you, um, or bother you or get, you know, get you off your game because you're very strong in who you are this month. And it's saying to focus on this. This also could be a Leo. Also, if you're dealing with a Leo, there could be a Leo in your life. The next card we have is the five, I'm sorry, the six of six of swords. And this is about, this is in the position of what, what Scorpio, what it is that you are working towards, what it is that you're striving for this month, what it is that you want. And it looks like you want to move forward. You want to move forward. You're open to receive, right? You have this card open to receive. You're open to receive new things and you just want to move away from negative, uh, situations. If there was something unjust to you in the past, or you felt there was uh, a court case, maybe that didn't go your way or a relationship that didn't go your way, or you didn't feel it was fair. You want to move forward. You want to get out of that, out of that, uh, out of that. You want to get, get past it. Um, you will be having a gift come in. So as soon as you are open to receive you guys allow yourselves to let go of any kind of loss that you received or felt that was unfair to you, because once you do that, it's saying, you'll be ready to open, to be, to receive, to receive this gift unexpected. It's like, maybe something did happen to you. Maybe something that was, maybe something was unfair to you, but it's almost like the universe is going to give you something better, unexpected. Maybe that wasn't meant for you, right? So some of you guys are moving towards some, uh, moving, wanting to move past any, this is, you know, about negative, um, uh, thoughts, you know, any kind of negative thoughts that you're having in your mind or things and things that, uh, people have hurt you in the past. You want to move forward and, and, and get away from that. Um, but I see that you will, um, what's coming in for you right now is the Empress. Um, the Empress is here. This, this could be a person. Um, this is the Empress. So this could be, uh, a mother figure or a father figure. Um, this person could be somebody who is, um, not able right now to, they're, they're not feeling abundant. They're not feeling abundant. So this person may need some help from you. 
Um, this is a card about lack of creativity, lack of um, being able to birth any new ideas, um, not being able to have children, um, you know, something like that. This, this is a card that's coming in. So this could be a person coming into you, uh, Scorpio, um, saying that um, they may need some help financially from you, or they may need some help uh, as far as uh, creativity is concerned, this person is unable to create. They're unable to um, feel stable in their life because this card is all about abundance. So it's almost like somebody has a lack of abundance here. Um, uh, and they're coming in to this month. Some kind of lack of abundance. Maybe they need some uh, pep talks or um, help um, with creativity and you might be helping them because you guys have this very very strong strength card so when negativity you know when people are on on their lower end um, you guys might be able to help them some way the next card we have is in your recent past and we have the eight of wands so in the recent past it looks like you had some uh, heavy uh, communication with somebody or some uh, somebody or something um, communication came in uh, where you were communicating or even traveling. Some of you were traveling in the recent past. Some of you started up um, having a lot of communication, back and forth communication with somebody. And it could have to do with this job. It could have had to do with this justice card here so if it was if this was a legal situation. Um, but it, it does look like there was a lot of communication with somebody from the past. Um, or that so something you were waiting for did come in for you in the past. Um, and now you are ready to, you are open and ready to receive what it is that you're looking for. The next card we have is, this is the nine of, nine of wands and this is a, in reverse. So it's telling me that you're over. Um, you've been through maybe a lot of obstacles in your life or the situation here. Um, you've really gone through a lot of challenges. You've made it, you've really made it through a lot of challenges and, or somebody you, somebody was cornering you or like bullying you right into feeling like you were trapped into a corner and you were like, you know, maybe feeling on guard, you know, like you had to be careful, but that's over this month. It looks like you're letting go of anything, any obstacles that were bothering you in the past. You're not going to be guarded anymore. You're free because you have this receptivity card. You're, you're able to let go of any negativity and challenges that you've gone through in your past. You're not going to let them affect you today. Now you're going to be just like light and free. The next card we have is the, I'm sorry, the eight, the eight of pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. This is somebody in your surrounding. You could be, you know, in your environment, your work environment, your home environment, uh, people around you. Um, it looks like there's some kind of lack of um, support uh, in when it comes to a work situation, a money situation. I have a feeling it's this empress. Somebody maybe lost their job. Um, somebody's been really, really trying really hard to work on something but they're just not getting the payout that they deserve or want so some of somebody's lost their job or somebody is um getting ready to uh quit maybe quit their job because it's, it's like somebody's really putting a lot of work into a relationship or or a work situation and they're not getting back what they need. They're not getting any money out of it. Maybe they're just wasting their time working, trying their hardest, but nobody's recognizing it or nobody's um, honoring it. And so it, this empress could be the one because um, this empress is normally somebody who has a ton of abundance and they do do the work and they have the creativity. And this person is doing the work. It's not like they're not just sitting back doing nothing. They're doing the work, but there's just no payout, which is creating this lack of creativity, lack of abundance, um, making this person feel very uncomfortable. So, you know, this, you might need to be, you know, something's coming of this when it comes to you, you're definitely giving up. You're not going to be working on or getting involved, taking action towards something that's not going to pay out. Right. Um, so you could have been involved with this person romantically or in a relationship, and it's just not working out at this point. Um, they may be trying to put effort into it, but it's just not working. The next card we have is the queen of swords. This is in the position of what you're hoping for or fearing. And I think you guys are really hoping for some clarity. You're hoping for facts. You're hoping for, um, to be very logical in your life right now. You don't want to be 
obviously so open and um like I say, this open receptivity is somebody who's very open because they're very, they're healed. They're very enlightened. This person, um, if you guys are feeling very enlightened, which you will be most likely and very ready to receive if you let go of any negativities in your life, if you guys move beyond any heartbreak or disappointments that people have put upon you, it's time for you to move forward and away from that so you can be open for new things. So you guys might be wanting to cut people out of your life. You guys might be wanting um, to, or just to communicate to others in your life, to tell them how you feel. Um, you're going to be honest. Uh, you, maybe you're going to have, you're going to be very logical, or this could be, you're hoping for this person to come into your life, which is somebody, you know, that has a lot of facts, a lot of um, um, logic to give you clarity. The next card we have is the King of Swords, and he's in reverse. This could be a male or female. The outcome is the King of Swords. Um, this is somebody who is um, could be cutting, could be not communicating. This is somebody who um, could not be communicating at all, okay? So you could be hoping for this person to, to start opening up and communicate, but they're not communicating. They don't want to talk. They don't want to communicate. And if they do, they're only interested in their own benefits and they're not really, they're going to be overly logical. They don't really care about feelings and emotions. They're all out. They're kind of like in it for themselves in a way. They're just kind of like, um, wanting to get what they want and they're only going to, they're only going to pay attention to that. So there might be a difficult person coming in or a lack of communication with somebody, um, a lack of communication. Um, let's go ahead and pull a clarifying card for this card. Why do we have the King of Swords in reverse for Scorpio? Why is the King of Swords here in reverse for our Scorpio? You know, this could be the person that you're dealing with. If, for those of you that are losing a court case or, um, you know, things have been unfair. It could have to do with this um, air sign. This could be a Libra. Okay. What is the King of Swords here in reverse? Why is the King of Swords here in reverse? So it could be an earth. So we have an earth sign here. This could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Um, this person is financially unstable. They may have lost a lot of money. They may have lost their home. They may have lost their stability. Um, this person could be feeling very insecure. So you guys might be dealing with a Virgo um, that also has an air sign in uh, air sign. Um, this person, if it's not a Virgo, it, it's just somebody who is, you know, they've lost their money, they've lost a job. So if it has to do with this person in their environment, it's like they put a lot of money, time, effort, and they've lost money instead of earned money. So this person can be a little bit bitter um, because they're not getting out of it what it is that they put into it or they've lost all their money or, um, again, it could have to do with this empress as well. So this person could be just cutting people out of their lives. Let's pull one more card. Please verify why the King of Swords is here in reverse. Why is the King of Swords here in reverse? We have the four of pentacles in reverse. So this talks about, um, again, it's about money. It's about finances, about lack of finances. It's about um, l lack of finances, um, lack of security, lack of um, the ability to hold on to money. So there is some kind of financial issue going on with somebody around you and in your environment. And it is causing um, some kind of financial uh, lack of abundance and somehow it's tied to you, but I don't really see it affecting you. I know that's how you, somebody feels it's, if it is, have, if it does have to do with you, you know, there's some kind of injustice feeling here where you put in a lot of work or time, you were involved with this person and maybe both of you lost out on some finances, 
but I do see you getting a new opportunity, a brand new financial opportunity. Um, you guys are going to be moving away, away from any negativity that have caused you to feel insecure or unable to move forward because this month I do see that, um, you are getting this, this, this opportunity the, uh, and, in, and you need to be strong this month within yourself. Don't allow any of these negative people or these people that are relying on you for support in some way or another financially or, um, emotionally, um, you will be strong. You will be able to help them or be there for them. But at the same time, you don't want them to put all the negativity onto you. So move forward away from the negativity, you guys. You're going to have beautiful clarity this month, amazing clarity. I see a brand new, some kind of harmony with a new group of people after this situation is over. Okay, guys, I have one more card for you um, for advice. And this is the the nine of cups in reverse. So there is definitely some kind of dissatisfaction here. Um, the advice is, is to um, definitely uh, allow yourself to let go of the unsatis of feel the feeling of maybe something didn't work out for you and it's making you feel that way, right? Like you don't feel satisfied anymore emotionally. It's telling you, it's telling you to focus on your strength within yourself. As soon as you guys do that, you're going to be getting this brand new uh, opportunity, this brand new gift out of nowhere. You didn't expect it. Things, obviously, how would you when all this injustice is going on and this craziness around you? As soon as you start feeling more positive, start praying, meditating, um, you are, and, and moving past and forgiving and letting go of negativity, you guys are going to have this amazing abundance coming into you. A surprise, a surprise, a surprise. Okay. I'm going to pull one of my Alana Fairchild cards from the Sacred Rebel sacred rebel oracle deck what is the final message for scorpio for this month of september bring it on bring it into form Beautiful. Bring it into form, Scorpio. Bring it into form. I know you will because you have all these amazing cards here. Um, this is card number 41. I'm going to read it to you. Bring it into form. It says, Beautiful dreamer, you can imagine wonderful worlds of light. You can dream up so many possibilities. Now is the time to bring those possibilities of light into the world. They need to be more than ideas. They need to live to manifest. The world needs not only your dreams, beautiful, beautiful as they are, but also your creations. Get thee to thy desk, thy easel, thy computer. Work, beautiful dreamer, just dream, create. You are being asked to honor yourself with a commitment to complete your inspired tasks. This will keep you to grow, and that is a wonderful reason to commit. But there is another reason, too. You know that you are inspired, that your inspired idea, ideas are worth translating into practical forms so that other people can access them and experience something special too. Oh, that's beautiful. I told you, you guys are getting inspired. It's time to start this new project. Okay. Start this new project and accept this new beautiful gift that's coming in from the universe. Okay. Be receptive to new ideas because you have them and you're going to, it's time for you to put them in action. It's time for you to start working on them. Maybe you guys are going to be starting your own business. Okay. Maybe you're starting your own business. Maybe this is the money you needed or the new beginning you needed to start this new business. So it's telling you to get started on that. Okay. And you will help others by doing so, by living your inspiration, by living, living your, uh, you're bringing to, to light what it is that you want. You guys, this card is all about, 
having the ability to focus on something and seeing something from such a higher perspective that you can get to, you can get to the, you can solve something in an instant while other people might be like wondering what's going on. Boom. You're going to get the idea like that because you, you're, it's like the Eagle can see all the way down into this Canyon. They can see their prey because they're looking for food, right? Well, not that you're looking for prey, right? You're not looking, you're looking, you're looking to see, you're going to be able to have the vision to see what it is that you need in your life. So accept and move forward. Be positive this month. Meditate. Do whatever you need to do. For those of you that are um, feeling a little bit like things have been going unfair for you.